Hey, it's a rainy day here in Colorado, and you know what? Let's talk about Logic and let's talk about Luna. First thing, Logic is made by Apple. Luna is made by Universal Audio. Let's get that out of the way. Two separate companies, both make great hardware. Apple makes computers and Universal Audio makes audio equipment. So they're kind of different worlds. But anyways, um, we kind of wanted to talk about why we don't use it. Um, it's kind of been on our minds on whether to go back to Logic from Luna, but honestly, our mixes are sounding so good in Luna that it's just like, I, I could probably get the same sound in Logic, but it might take me a little bit longer. Um, and that's kind of the thing is like, you want to be as quick as possible. But so let's kind of start with Logic. Um, Logic's made by Apple. It's, it was, there's a whole history backline of videos you can watch on the history of Logic and where it started and why it is now and updates and stuff like that that's happening. Um, we have Logic to open up artists' um, sessions that get sent to us so we can kind of see where they're at in their demo stage um, to know where we need to carry on. And usually what we'll do is we'll kind of open that up in Logic, kind of look at it and then be like, okay, cool. We're gonna now save this as an AF file after we freeze all your tracks send it over to Luna and do the mix and everything else that we do in Luna. Um, Luna is a more analog based in style um, DAW, where Logic's more of the digital side of things. Logic comes with a whole sorts of loops and software synths and drumming stuff, where Luna is a little less of that. Luna's a little more the I'm going to record my drums, my acoustic drums, my acoustic guitars, electric guitars, all that, you know, and I'm going to throw in some MIDI here and there, you know, where Logic kind of leans maybe a little more the other direction of being MIDI. Um, it has some great MIDI functions that I've yet to tap into because we don't do a lot of MIDI around here. I, we do a lot of acoustic instruments. So that's kind of the beasts there. Now, one does Atmos one is working on it, I feel like. I think they're getting there. I think Luna, if you use core audio, which they used to not be able to do, if you use the core audio and send out through your Atmos bridge into the Dolby render, you could essentially use Luna to do an Atmos mix in here. Um, and it wouldn't take you very long to do it. It would take very, probably, minutes to set that up and it's the same with logic logic you press a couple buttons and you're into your dolby mix in the same session um however with the dolby one or with logic and dolby you know with that built in you, it's really hard to go back once you enable that option so you kind of have to save a second session that all happens very quickly in both softwares so you could essentially do that so there's not really a pro and con between these two pieces of software in, uh, you might want to say like, well, hey, Justin, why don't you guys in your studio just use Logic all the time? Everybody else uses Logic all the time. It's logical, you know, pun intended. Um, it just doesn't work for our workflow. We work in a very analog sense. We've got the desk and we've got analog gear on each side of the desk that we mix through and record through. And, you know, it's just for our workflow, it works better this way. Um, it's just a piece of software, that's all it is. And it boils down to what works for you. And what works for me is Luna and not Logic. Um, not that we haven't tried Logic, we tried Logic for about a year and just it couldn't quite get around the settings and stuff that we wanted to do with it that Luna does quite well. Luna does all the analog saturation stuff and all of the compressor stuff. But with Luna, you do get all of universal or you don't get all of it, but you can get you can get all of Universal Audio's um, plugins that are fantastic. Not to say that the Logic plugins aren't good or bad or anything, um, but UA has been making hardware for, for almost a hundred years now, something like that. It's Sixty, no, well, maybe not hundred years, but a long time. They've been making it for a long time. Where Apple's still kind of new to the game of like audio software and audio and all that stuff. So they're, you know, in the grand schemes of they're a little young, um, but everybody loves 1176s and LA-2As. 
you know, everybody, everybody in the mixing world and recording world knows those pieces of hardware and uses them. Um, but you know, Logic, I, I feel like it's a little cumbersome to my editing style. Like I like to edit pretty quickly and I feel like I have to click a bunch of buttons to do the edits that I want to do that I can do quicker in Luna. Um, now Luna being the younger of the two DAWs, Logic's been around for a while where Luna's only been out since 2020. Like it hasn't been around very long, but they've updated it very quickly. Like they keep adding features and Logic does too. But you know, it seems like, you know, with Apple and Logic, it's like the update could take a little longer because Apple's got a slew of other pieces of software that they got to work with and they've got Final Cut and they've got all these things that they're doing with iPads and you know, stuff now. So anyways, um, use what works for you. Use Luna, use Logic, use Pro Tools, use Reaper, use a Ableton Live, use whatever works for you and make it work. You know, if, if you can make it work for you, great. If it's one of those things like, I can't get this piece of software to work, try another one, try this, try this. Keep trying stuff until you find what you like and make it work for you. Now, this video is like Logic and Luna, which one's better? There's really not, that's kind of how I started, but it's not the point here. They're both great pieces of software. You just gotta find which one fits you the best. So that's kind of our video for the day. And you know, we wanna say thank you for watching our videos and also for hitting like and subscribe for those who have done that. Those who have not, hit the bell, hit that like and hit the, hit the subscribe button. You know, hit those things and you'll know when we've got more content rolling out. And hopefully we can keep doing these weekly videos for you. And you know, if you got an idea for another video you'd like to see us do, hit us a comment or hit us a message. We'll, uh, we'll do our best to comment back. So thanks for watching and you know what? We'll see you 